The driver's seat is a good place to spend some time. When you turn on the gauges, you can see that the RPM gauge starts at 4,500 RPM on a cold engine. Which is something that's very useful to know that you can't rev past 4,500 RPM without damaging the engine. And as the engine warms up, which usually takes five to 10 minutes, gradually the yellow uh, sections of the, the tack disappear until you get up to 7,500 RPM. Red line is 8,000 RPM. The peak output is 7,900 RPM, which is much higher than what a typical passenger car has. Uh, certainly the engine lights up at uh, 3,500 RPM, I would say, and just builds and builds and builds all the way to the red line, and it sounds fantastic. I read that the torque output, which I believe is 262 pound-feet, not very high, 90% of, of it is available at about 1,900 RPM, so you'll never feel like you're lacking for torque. It's a small car, it's lightweight, it's not a torque monster, but that's not what this thing's about. It's about racing. Now, the SMG is something I hear a lot of complaints about. I am a bit of a manual purist myself, but having lived with it for three years, it's, it's a very nice feature. It makes shift, shifting incredibly easy. This particular model has 11 settings on it and as you can see you can adjust it right here so that's the lightest and most relaxed shift all the way to the most intense the only way you can get the the sixth setting to come on is you turn off the traction control which is something i do not recommend unless you're on a track uh, i can tell stories when possible press the sport button it makes the throttle much, much more responsive to your inputs, but it doesn't actually make the car feel faster, it just makes it feel faster. So generally, I keep it in the fourth setting, which is a pretty aggressive shift, but that's what I like. Uh, if I wanted to go into the sixth mode, which I just did, I turned off the traction control, then I can go into the fastest shifts. I read somewhere that it does the job in something like 88 milliseconds. I don't know. All I can tell you is it's damn fast. I've driven the newer model uh, i drove the uh the f10 m5 on a track at the bmw performance driving school and i'm here to tell you it's so much faster than this is but still this is many times faster than i could do it manually so for what that's worth uh this car is fantastic to drive in in terms of the gauges it has everything that you need uh, a couple other things worth commenting on the flappy shifts uh, these other features, cruise control, phone, never use those. I very rarely have the radio on because I prefer to listen to the engine. And that will also be something we'll do for the next video. I'm going to get up early and uh, take you all for a, a, a spin so you'll get to hear the engine.